Hi guys, this is going to be a different kind of video. Um, I want to talk to you about my tubal. I got a tubal ligation, I guess that's how you say it. Um, my surgery was yesterday and I had looked on Facebook for, or not Facebook, I had looked on YouTube for other people's stories and how that went and uh, this wasn't planned for very long. I actually went to my gynecologist for my annual visit and I had the Mirena put in about a year and a half ago and it was just MIA. It, uh, there were no strings. We couldn't find the strings. I had to get an ultrasound vaginally so um once we decided that that had to come out i said i would just go ahead and get the tubal um i have migraines so um my options on birth control are very limited to begin with <clears throat> i'm sorry my throat is like super super sore i've never had my throat be this sore after surgery so surgery went well um i have two different incisions they went through my belly button and then i have another incision kind of by my left hip it's over about an inch from my hip and that's where they took out the morena so i went into surgery they gave me the medicine i was out uh, when i woke up i wasn't in horrible pain um I'd say it was probably a four or five, nothing really bad. And they gave me some more medicine in my IV and the type of medicines that they used for anesthesia, I was awake, but my vision was super, super blurry. That's the one thing that I did not like at all. It took probably 30 minutes for my vision to come back fully. Um, so we came home and they gave me three different prescriptions. They gave me promethazine, which is for the nausea and vomiting. And um, then they gave me ibuprofen, which helps with the incision pain, and it totally does. If I miss my dose, if I don't take it right on time, my incisions start to hurt really bad. And then they gave me um, oxycodone. So yesterday, and it still hurts all through here from where they fill your abdomen with CO2 gas. So they blow you up so they can see everything better. So it's like air is just trapped and it's, it hurts so bad right through here and into my neck. Like it, it's still bad. Not as bad as it was yesterday, but, and this is just my robe. I've not had anything else on. I have a robe on and socks. Um, but yesterday it was a lot of this pain. I wasn't super, super sore yet. Um, but I was also told that he, my doctor, who is amazing, while he was in there to hopefully help with some of the pain, he put lidocaine all in, you know, all down there on the inside, my organs or whatever to kind of numb them so it wouldn't be so bad and thank goodness because i honestly think that has helped a ton so um i didn't take any pain meds i got home around 3 30 4 o'clock something like that and uh i was supposed to take the pain meds every four hours but it was not that bad i was expecting the pain to be a lot worse than it it actually is so last night, um, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to sleep very well. So I took one tablet before bed and I slept okay. You couldn't really get comfortable if you lay down, like the gas pain is so much worse. Like the pressure is so much worse, but you're not supposed to be doing anything either. So I found that just kind of walking a little bit helps the air move. Um, 
but I slept on and off and then this morning I was really sore like my actual stomach was sore yesterday I, I didn't eat really anything I couldn't eat I was really nauseous and then when I ate or even drank anything it was like that air was just so much worse so today I was able to eat a little bit this is day one post-op um, it's been about 24 hours since my surgery um, I haven't taken any pain meds my throat is really really sore um, from them putting the tube down and I don't know if you can see it but at here where they uh, I don't know if they pulled the tube out my mouth was super dry because my surgery was about an hour <sighs> I have like a blister that kind of runs up in here it's super sore but oh my throat my throat is absurdly sore um last night i just it almost felt like a tickle would keep happening along with the soreness and i would just keep coughing so now uh, my stomach's super sore my abs are sore and every time i cough it's horrid but i mean overall the pain is not near as bad as i expected it to be I can't complain about it too much. I finally felt good enough just a few minutes ago to wash my face. Um, I wash my face twice a day. Like it just bugs me when I can't wash my face and put my usual skincare on. But yeah, I will do another update if anything changes tonight. And if not, I'll do another tomorrow. Um, hopefully things keep going really well like they have been. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. So today is day four um, from my surgery, my tubal and um, my surgical removal of the morena. And I didn't update on days two or three. Um, not, not much went on really. I didn't feel awful but I was just kind of tired and run down. I couldn't do much. I was not in a whole lot of pain. Thank goodness I haven't been. Um, my throat is still sore, so I don't know what's going on there, but um, I still didn't take any of my pain meds. I took one um, the day of my surgery before bed, and that's all I've taken. Um, I took ibuprofen. I think that really does help with like the incision sites and I started bleeding yesterday. I know this is probably TMI, but um, I want you to be prepared if uh, if you're having it. So I walked into a store and just all of a sudden it felt like a water faucet turned on just everywhere. It was not great, but I've been bleeding on and off, uh, like I said, since yesterday. And at some points it is really heavy. Um, I go see the doctor in a couple days, so hopefully it's all right. But um, I did get to wash my hair on my own today. That, that was a plus. Uh, washing my hair and like washing my legs shaving my legs things like that that's really hard for me but it's it's really not been near as bad as I thought it would be um, if you've had a c-section I had a c-section um, my son's 11 so it's been quite some time ago but that was horrible I was in horrific pain and it is nothing close to that yes my stomach is sore and of course I do have two different incisions. I had two different procedures, but it doesn't even compare to the excruciating pain <laughs> like a C-section. So um, I hope this is helpful. And my incisions, I've, uh, I've been keeping them covered. They put, um, I don't know really what they are. They put like these little bandages over them. Well, one was really big. And uh, the first day I took a shower, they got really wet. So I took them off and I've just been, 
covering them so they're not rubbing against my clothes. But my doctor glued over the incisions, so they're not running, they're not really bleeding. Um, they bled a little bit the other day, and I got super worried, so I called my doctor, but he said it was fine, totally normal, unless, you know, the bleeding was severe. But besides that, it's really been uneventful. It's just, it's not been super painful. It's just been kind of being tired. You can't really do anything. Like I can't clean the house or uh, make other videos. Um, I make beauty videos, I do makeup. I've definitely not been able to do that. But it's it's not been bad. It's just been kind of frustrating because you don't feel awful, but you definitely don't feel good. And you can't do anything. So it's like you're just sitting in the house. <laughs> you know, it gets it gets kind of frustrating. You, you kind of get stir crazy. Like you want to do things. You want to clean the house. You want to go here. You want to go there. And you can't. So that's really the main thing with me. Um, and then my throat. My throat has been so sore. Um, I had a big thing on my lip, I guess, where they had put the tube down, and thank goodness it has, uh, went away, but my throat is still so sore. But I guess I will update you guys in a day or two, and normally I have flowers here. I'm so sorry, I don't. I've just, you know, <laughs> not been up to it. I haven't gotten out of the house much. But yeah, I will see you guys in a day or two. Bye, guys. So this is my day seven update and I'm feeling much better. I still have some cramping. Um, I went to the doctor and uh, he looked at my incisions and <laughs> so I pulled up my shirt and he was like, oh, uh, um, that's unfortunate. He said that could definitely look better. So I'm sitting there like, you know, what the crap? I've kept these bandages on and I have, you know, not touched them. Like you said, like I've done everything exactly as you said. Well, apparently when they go in where there's so much there at your belly button, you know, your important stuff, they lift up your skin to make sure they're not, you know, interfering with anything else. Because I have two incisions, or what I thought were incisions, on my belly button. Well, the one is actually the incision, and what he told me was where they lift that up, it just cut right through my skin. So, it's actually a cut, not an incision, and it's, it's about this long. And that's why there's two cuts or incisions there. And I'm badly bruised on that side. Like the bruises hurt worse by far than my incisions. My incisions don't hurt at all. But I'm very, very bruised. I have probably, I have bruises about that big to the left side. And apparently that's why. But yeah, I have the two cuts or incisions on my belly button. It's kind of going, one's going straight into my belly button and uh, then the other one's kind of off to the side a little bit, still connecting to my belly button. And then my other incision for the Mirena is about two, I'd say two inches from my left hip. And um, I'm, I wasn't worried about the scars or the incisions. Um, I gained 80 pounds when I was pregnant with my son. So my stomach is a mess. It's an absolute mess. And that's why I'm not showing you the incisions. I'm sorry if you do want to see those, but um, no one sees my tummy. I don't ever wear a two-piece swimsuit. I uh, always wear one piece. It's always covered. But the other thing is I'm still very bloated. Um, like I said, I started bleeding around day three. And I'm still bleeding, but it's not heavy. So... Overall, I would say if you are looking into a tubal, to go for it. Um, Recovery is not that bad. My overall pain was not near as bad as I thought it was going to be. The bloating is horrible. I look about six months pregnant. Um, 
And then the first few days where they put the CO2 into your abdomen, the air, they will tell you that you can have a lot of gas pain. And I did have a lot of that in my shoulder and neck. And then my throat hurt really bad from the tube. But I mean, no, it was not near as bad as I expected. And the pain, a lot of the pain that I was having was from the Mirena being removed. If you do have to have your Mirena surgically removed, you don't have an option in that. So there's really not much you can do, but it's, I mean, it's honestly not bad at all. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to talk about. Oh, and when I seen him also, he, I asked, cause I don't wear pads. I know this is so TMI, but I never wear pads. I mean, I haven't worn pads for 15 years, if ever. But I had to go buy panties. I never wear regular full whole panties. I always wear thongs and I wear tampons. So I had to go buy panties. And um, when I seen him, I asked when I could start wearing tampons because I hate pads. Oh, I hate pads. They're so uncomfortable. I just, I cannot. But he said that at a week, I could start wearing tampons. So yay for that. But everything else, I think it was more discomfort. Um, not a whole lot of actual pain. When I coughed, that did hurt because I had a pretty bad cough. But yeah, that hurt my stomach. It was kind of like when you've coughed so much, your abs start to hurt, and that's what this felt like. Oh, and for the first couple days, I couldn't eat anything really because all this gas, all the gas was horrible. And uh, when I first came home, I was nauseous and I couldn't eat because of that. But then after that, like here I am starving, but I couldn't eat because when I would eat a little bit, it would just make the gas pain so much worse. So I did not eat for the first couple days. I mean, very, very little if I did eat anything. I just drank a crap load of water. Um, I never got sick or anything like that. Um, I stayed on top of the ibuprofen. I think that helped a lot. But yeah, I, I totally think if you want to have a tubal to totally do it, yes. Um, and mine, my tubes were clamped. They weren't cut and burned. So if I do want to reverse it, I can at some point, which I don't see that happening, but just in case that is the route that we took. Um, and then I think that's really about it. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave them below and, uh, I hope I'll see you guys on my next videos. Bye guys.